Hey there, Mermaid Kasha welcomes you on board. Uh, today is such an exciting video because we are reviewing or uh, we are trying out the latest products from my Colourpop haul and I got the So Jade palette, the Lunar Has It uh, blush, some brow products and the mascara as well and this is the look that I came up with. So if you want to see how I did it and how these products perform then just keep on watching. Okay I am so excited for this. I got the So Jade palette, I got some brow products, a mascara from Colourpop and Kathleen Light's collaboration with Colourpop. Um, on the blush it's called Lunar Has It. So I think um i think i want to finish off my face first then get onto the eyes and then do the lips so i'm taking the color uh, pressed cheek um powder in the shade lunar has it let me just take off this this plastic and this is what it looks like it's a super nice and neutral blush which you know I love so let me just grab a blush brush if I can find one this is my first um, powder product powder face product from Colourpop so I have my blush brush it's a little stained but I think will be fine so I'm just going to tap it in tap up the excess and off we go this is the color and it's super bronzy it is a neutral kind of bronzy shade I would say and it is whoa super pigmented okay I need to take my powder brush and just blend out the edges because I look a little funny I have a, a lip balm on my lips so that we will take that off no problem I'm just gonna pick up um, the highlighter found it and the highlighter I'm gonna be using is the undercusp highlighter from Colourpop I'm gonna try and keep it you know kind of Colourpop themed so let me just apply that this has been in my shop my stash one of them anyway <laughs> if i can find it i will leave the link up here for you to check it out but this is how it looks it is a moussey kind of texture it applies kind of like a cream but not fully and it dries down to a powder finish so okay and for brows i got the brow boss duo it has the gel and the pencil and i got mine in the shade taupe uh let me just take it out Ugh. and these are what they look like the pencil is super tiny like really 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 small you know like your anastasia brows kind of vibes so uh, let me zoom you in and we can start on um, Place. okay you're all zoomed in so let's give this little guy a go okay so it seems like you have to press quite a bit to get pigmentation from that pencil so maybe that means it's not gonna run out as quickly i definitely need to groom my brows though because they're kind of hectic okay that seems somewhat okay mm, i guess i'm not 100 percent fan of this pencil i'm gonna do one eyebrow and then go to the other but this is the brow boss gel and look at that tiny wand so small the color though of that pencil is perfect so let's check this guy out wow jeez that grip though super nice i 
I definitely prefer the brow gel over the pencil. I'll definitely use this one up because um, let's see how much product we actually get. So this is the amount of product we get. That's quite a lot for the kind of pencil that it is. And like I said, it's a bit hard, so it is going to take a while before we use it up. But I love that. Okay, so these are the brows. I love that gel. It's so good. But it's time for this guy. And I'm so excited. There are going to be swatches of the whole palette at the end of the video, if you're curious. But this is how... The palette looks and these are the colors it's a little smaller than i actually expected but then again this is my first 30 pan um eyeshadow palette so i'm not sure but um yeah these colors are amazing and i want to go a little crazy you know not like test out the um the neutrals but um uh, try out some of all the other colors so like this purple or the blues you know and then i guess i guess we'll see how we get on but first of all we need to prepare our eyelids there's a little bit of concealer on my eye so i'm blending that out and then i am gonna go into the shade called my precious which is a nice uh, matte beige color and I'm going to set my eyelid I own Colourpop um, eyeshadows already I leave my latest Colourpop video up here for you to check out and I leave the rest in the description bar down below so that you know okay but I think I'm gonna go off camera, do one eye, and then do the other eye with you on camera. So, see you in literally a second. I'm taking the shade Royal Jewels and I'm putting that in my transition area. I am then going into Turquoise and I'm putting that on my outer corner and I am building this shade up into my crease. This is going to be the base color for literally everything in this look. And I'm making sure this color is blended out like really, really well. Going back into Royal Jewels and I'm just blending out the edges of the turquoise shade. Going back into turquoise again and I am just building that shade up a little bit because we seem to have lost a little bit of the intensity. Taking the brush that we use the Royal Jewels shade and I'm just blending out the edges. Going into Sapphire on a small uh, pencil brush, I am building that color up in my outer corner. As you can see, I'm building that color up quite a bit. I want it to be really intense. Taking what's left on the brush with turquoise, I'm just blending out the edges. Taking the brush we use sapphire with, I'm just adding a little bit of what's left on that brush. And back again with the blending brush to blend out the edges. I'm going into the shade Aquamarine on a sponge tip applicator actually. And I am putting that in between the empty space on the lid and the edges of sapphire. And then taking the brush with a little bit of sapphire and I'm blending out the edges. Going into the shade Peridot, again on a sponge tip applicator, and applying that on the inner third of my lid. I find the sponge tip applicators work really well with metallics, and look at that intensity, it's amazing! And I'm flipping the applicator to where we use the aquamarine shade, and I'm just blending both of these shades together. Going into turquoise, I am just blending out the uh, top edges of these sparkly shades. 
I'm going back into the shade Royal Jewels and I'm just placing that in my transition area because we seem to have lost that color there. Now I'm taking the shade Pearl and I am putting that in my inner corner as my inner corner highlight. For my lower lash line, I'm taking the shade Royal Jewels and I'm placing that all across my lower lash line. On a thin flat brush, I'm taking the shade Turquoise and I am putting that closer to my lashes. Then going into Sapphire on a teeny, teeny, tiny brush, I'm putting that on the uh, outer half of my lower lash line. Then with whatever is left on the Royal Jewels brush, I'm just blending out the edges. Then going back into Sapphire actually, and I'm putting that on the outer corner of my top lid because it just wasn't as intense as I would want it to be. And then I'm taking my Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner and I'm doing a wing. To tight line, I'm taking a black pencil and I'm tight lining with this. For my waterline, I'm taking this lovely aquamarine kind of pencil and I'm just putting that on the waterline. Okay, so this is the eye look. I look like a mermaid, but who cares? I love this palette. Like, this is exactly what I've been missing from my collection. Something crazy you know something just not neutral or not pink or not brown and you know like something something different so i'll definitely do a palette bingo with this palette because it is absolutely stunning but it's time for the mascara and this is the bff volumizing mascara and i got mine in black so let's see Let's open it up and this is what the wand looks like. You're probably all well aware of how it looks, but let's give it a try on the eyes. It is the first time I'm using all of these products, so it is a full on first impression. These are the lashes I get with one coat but i think i want to build it up and see if i can make them a little bit more longer and just you know up to the heavens it seems like a pretty dry formula though so i'm not sure Okay, so my opinion on the mascara, it's alright, it gives me volume, it gives me length and it gives me a little bit of curl, but what I do not like is how dry it already is, so I'm just wondering if it's going to last lo a long time, but I guess we'll find out. But it's time for the lips and I'm taking the Colourpop. Um, what is this? A lipstick in the matte formula. And this one is in the shade Ink Blot. So let's just apply that on our lips. Mm, I love the lipsticks. They are even better than um, the Ultra Satin Lips in my opinion. So let me just fix my hair and I'll be back for outro
okay you guys so that is it this is my latest ColourPop haul and a quick or not really quick but a very extravagant makeup look using the so jade palette from ColourPop as well and this is a zoo look and i love it so much i really don't want to take it off now it's so different for me you know i love my pinks and i love my purples and oh my guess there is a purple here so um there are some purples here so i guess i might give these guys a go as well soon uh but yeah just coming back on all the products love the palette that was obvious because i love color pop palettes regardless the blush looks lovely it's still on and it's pretty color maybe doesn't go very well with this look today but sure why not uh the mascara it's it's okay that's all i'm gonna say it's just okay for eight bucks i think that's what it is i guess it's uh worth it and then the brow products the brow pencil is you know from me i think i'm just gonna use it up and not repurchase but this a brow gel is super nice and my brow hair are still in place so that's very good uh but yeah that completes this video today i love ColourPop. i just love their products and you know once in a while i do splurge a little bit to get uh, some of the products that i have in my cart for that i had in my cart for a little while uh but yeah that is it thank you guys very much if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh but yeah Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm.